What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you everything you need to know about reminders and how to take it to the next level. So, here's what you wanna do. If you search reminders on your iPhone, you will see, you can open up the app, and if you do not have the app on your iPhone, that is because Apple actually gives you the ability to delete iPhone apps on your phone. And you can see right here, if you delete the app, it's gone. So you can research it in the app store if you don't have it. What you wanna do now is once you open up the reminders app on your iPhone, you're gonna have a screen like so. And this is the best way to take advantage of the app. You can go ahead and add a list. So you can do that by tapping add list. And if you can create multiple lists for different sections of your life, like work, study, school, or you know any category of your life. So I'm just gonna put school. Right? These will be my reminders for school. And you can choose a color for the category. Uh, I'm gonna choose red, and then you can pick an emoji. I'm gonna do a little building like here, boom. You can add some templates later on, um, like right here. And then what you can do right now is once you choose you know, the icon you want, you can enter that category. So we enter the category of school, and to add a new reminder for school, we can do do, homework right now here's where things get interesting a lot of people think reminders can only be triggered by a date or a time but the whole point of this video is to show you there are so much more than just that so to do your homework you can add little notes little reminders to the reminder saying hey you got to do your math homework you got to do your science so that's what the notes section is for so you can put the different types of homework and then for here what you do is for the date most people would just do maybe, you know, select a date. Today's the 6th. We'll just keep it. We got to do our homework on the 7th. And you can actually choose a specific time. Right here, we do 5 p.m. or a.m. So I want my homework to remind me at 5 p.m. And we're going to have homework every, you know, let's just say every day. But maybe you don't have homework every day. You can choose every weekday, so that's just Monday through Friday. Or maybe you only do your homework on the weekends. So you can choose the uh, how often it repeats. Maybe it's every three months. Or you could set a custom range. Maybe you can do Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, rather than you know just weekdays or just weekends. You can customize each specific day. And then once you've taken care of that, what's really cool is Maybe you don't want it to remind you every week or day. Maybe you want it to remind you based on a location. So you can turn this on and you want to have your location settings turned on. And what's cool is maybe every time your iPhone recognizes you're at school, you can set it so that way when you arrive at your house, that's when you'll get a notification saying, hey, you need to do your homework. Because maybe you're not at your house the same time every single day. Maybe you need to do your homework whenever you drive to the library. So here you can pick your current location to get reminded at, or you can choose a specific location. Something else that's also really important is there's more than just location that can be messed around in here. You can choose if you're getting in your car to get the reminder, or if you're getting out of your car. And you can select either one of these. So maybe as soon as you get out of your car, that's when you get your reminder to do your homework. But in order to do that, you will need to have your Bluetooth on and connected to your car. This is typically done if you use your phone for Bluetooth in your car. Uh, you do not need CarPlay. You're just, your iPhone just needs to recognize that you're connected to a car. The way you can do that is you can enter your Bluetooth settings on your iPhone. And you can see right here, I go to my Wi-Fi. And you can see I have all these, my bad, you go to your Bluetooth settings. And you see you got all these um, information icons by different Bluetooth devices right here. You can see right here, if you tap on information, you can tap on device type and you can choose car stereo. And that is how your iPhone will know you're connected to a car. It'll also know if it has CarPlay. Also, what you want to do now is you can choose that maybe when you're getting a specific text message from a specific person, when you go to text someone, you'll get a reminder. So if you tap on choose person and you can see once I pick this person's contact, if I go to text them, then I'll get a reminder telling me, hey, I need to do my homework. You can also flag this notification as well, so that way it has higher priority. And then you can tap on done. So that is literally one thing you can do to get the most 
out of your reminders app. Very cool things you can do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.